to 
got going on like she's too lame she she has nothing else going on she can't like you know we can't rotate this you know so i never liked her so then fast forward my brother passed right me and her kind of get into it because i used to have an old instagram Oh no, it was this Instagram. So I posted something on this Instagram. I believe it's still up. So I posted on Instagram or whatever. Um, basically, to sum up, I don't like niggas. You know, niggas is lame, basically. Um, and one of my brothers that passed away, one of his friends, my, used to, my little brother used to hang about like steady every day, about like five five niggas five or six you know so um one of his like dudes i guess he screenshot my stuff and he sent it to the moms like so um and these moms they they really petty bitches like it's my mother her son passed away not none of y'all sons and all that oh i'll be there for you all that shit is cap when somebody passes away people really like don't care for real the most love i've gotten is from strangers like from y'all you know what i mean so it's just like yeah so um so they sent that mess they sent like a screenshot on my instagram to like the moms so like the moms they like talking shit you know what i mean they pop a shit or whatever so my mom is actually like really really cool with um not with one of the moms that like my siblings that with not with one of the moms that my brother you know they stand with but she cool with a lady that is cool with them because of football so they was all in this group chat so like the lady she called my mom it's like my mom's friend like friend friend she called my mom it's my baby sister's best friend mom but it's because of like football and all this type of shit it's like all intertwined like so so yeah so she called my mom she told my mom all this shit they talking about me whoop -de -whoop. so then i get a message on ig from my little brother's like best friend's big sister so i feel like her message was like trying to like tech check me type shit and can't no bitch on earth check me you know what i'm saying so i'm just like you know and i just lost my baby brother like i'm like i'm not about to i'm not about to do this with this also i i, I you can facetime people on like you know ig so i facetime her i start i get the going off or whatever i tell her like you know where i'm at you know come where I'm at it was snowing I waited outside she never came I would even went off on the mama too so it was just like a whole thing mom was just like she just let me do it because she just was tired of most too so fast forward I get this position at this dental this dental job so the sister her best friend worked there like I remember at school I ain't go to that school for that long but I remember at that school like they was with each other every day type shit so I like I, I recognize her you know I guess a face so I, that's, I just was like sure I ain't get that position you know what I mean so after that um I did so I was working there and it was just like it was just weird weird like nobody it was only one girl one dental assistant that was like helpful and like trying to help me the rest of them I was like you know what you could tell bitches is like kicking about you like you walk in a room and they walk out or you walk in a room and they just like get quiet like I can just tell oh my gosh I gotta go so I'm gonna wrap up this and then I'm gonna have to continue the next video so like comment and subscribe hold on let me just tell y'all just real quick how this fucked up so i just real quick quick story so um i'm thin assistant or whatever like i said one only one girl was like really helpful rest of them hoes it's like bitches for real so i um i 
what I shouldn't and shouldn't like do and say on like the net to like be getting paid and stuff like that until um, bigger platforms are able to like endorse and then you can get paid and say whatever you want, you know, type stuff. So like, yeah, so I start working, so I was 10 or 16 at working this job. I'm like, well, shit, I don't even really like dental assistant most. It's like petty anyway, and it's job pay more, and you know, I don't like 
you or whatever but then it was like not doing the time it was like oh well i live in around that area uh i'll just like ride i'll drive you know i told him like i know that i just gotta get to like that highway and then i know where i'm going so basically like i follow him or whatever until i got to my job you know thank them they would wait outside for about an hour or whatever so um not about an hour about 30 minutes so then i walk up to the back or whatever first of all they didn't even tell me like where to initially park at to get in so this whole time i'm walking in when like customers is walking in not customers um patients is walking in because like nobody like basically just nobody really gave a fuck you know so um they was rude so like i walk in or whatever i got my heels on but i got a bag because i got my stuff like all in the bag you know i okay one thing about dancing i got so many stripper bags like i wear my bags even to work like just duffel bags and i don't want no people wondering like damn this just big got hella duffel bags like i got so many anyways moving on so um i gotta go to so i like walk in or whatever and they already giving me shit she was like this this one lady i ain't never seen it before she was like oh do you work here she's like uh do you do i can i help you do you work here because i'm like standing on the back waiting to get let in and i'm like yeah i work here like you know real shit like bitch come on now and she was like you're an assistant you know she says she's an assistant manager you ain't know that i work here even though i've never seen her before you know it's new people working it was just so they just the most was just so rude like so um so like and mind you i was working it like it's like that i've never seen you like it was just weird but we I, whatever so anyways i go in i go to the lady that like i already know whatever she can be shit about what i'm wearing nobody's here i'm like oh i just got off work i just gotta go change real quick or whatever she said okay when you go change i need you to come to my office i'm thinking they got to talk to me about um yesterday what i'm saying about me raising my pay or whatever spot come on now the people trying to listen i'm thinking about they trying to talk to me about yesterday be me, me raising my pay or whatever nah that's not what they on that's not what they trying to talk to me about so i walk in there they talking about some um um it was a no lap so first of all we going over like my pay then i was trying to change my hours or whatever because one of the days i was working it was just really long ass shifts like to all equal up to 40 hours like then was just really that shit is crazy for and to not get paid shit for real that shit is just wild to me i don't know why anybody would want to do it but anyways so um i thought she was about to talk to me about like my pay or whatever and like my hours so she began to talk to me about my hours one of the days on wednesdays like i'm staying up for 24 hours because you know um i get off at like 7 30 then i gotta go to work 9 30 it was just like a lot you know so um I thought they was just about to talk to me about that. They talked to me about that for like a little bit, but my hours or whatever. And then they went on to say so. And my auntie was saying like this was their way of like giving like a first strike, like to try to like fire me type shit. But they really had no reason to fire me, so they was just gonna try to like come up with ways to fire me. And this was their first way of it. But it's like I ain't got time for this shit. Um. So basically, whoop. I gotta go. I love y'all so, 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 so much. I'll resume right back with this story. I'm for real. I gotta bounce. I love y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. We here forever. We here for good. Like, it be great. I love y'all. <laughs>